Um, now, the big experiment that our project this week was part of was called the GLUEX experiment. It's a, accelerated, uh, a particle acceleration experiment based in Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility in Newport News, Virginia. Uh, this facility has the ability to excite the gluon bond between two quarks, as seen here. here you have the gluon bond because there's a flow of gluons between that particle and this particle and the particle over there. The, we can uh, excite that band and measure its frequencies. Um, and we use photons to do that. Uh, this is a picture of the facility. There's there's two parts to the facility, the detector and where we create the photons. This is where we create the photons. I'll explain that in a minute. But the big part is here. Uh, this is the detector. It's a giant superconducting magnet which bends debris from the... It, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take a particle and smash it into something, smash it into a target. And the debris that flies off of that, we can measure things. And to measure things, we use this superconducting magnet. So here's a target, here's a photon beam, and they're crashing into the target, which creates this. Here we have our photon here, and it's running into hydrogen atoms, one proton, uh, a mass of them. We have recoil proton debris that fly away, and out of that, it creates a meson, which is a particle with two quarks inside. Uh, the meson then decays through the nuclear process, um, and we get a bunch of them, and they each have different vibr- uh, The strong force creates a band, and that band vibrates. We can measure the vibration and find information about that from them. Um, now, the part that we primarily worked with this week is the um, <coughs> diamond wafer area. We have a diamond wafer here, and electrons pass through this diamond wafer, and it, the violence within the diamond wafer creates photons. They zoom out of the diamond wafer at the speed of light. Uh, the many do this, and it creates a beam, and the diamond is also supported by some wires. Uh, as you can see here, this is a this is a idea. This can give you a general idea of the setup. There's a frame and there's tungsten wires, and there's a glass piece that's being held in place. There's no cube in the experiment, it's just for, you'll find out two more, two more presentations what that is. Um, now the problem that we're trying to solve is uh, when the, there's machinery outside of this, there's cooling units and things that vibrate, and then you have the natural earth tremors, and it causes this diamond to go back and forth, it causes it to oscillate. And the problem is, is that we're trying to get a very precise beam, and we're not able to do that with uh, it oscillating. As you can see here, there's um, there's a diamond, and when it's oscillating because of these tremors, these particles are flying off in the wrong directions. We can't control them as we would like to. Um, but the solution to this problem might be would be that um, we have a diamond and it's oscillating, and because it has a low frequency, it has a high amplitude, it's going to a very big degree. There's a big, there's a lot of motion here, there's not a little motion, there's a lot of it. So it's de being deflected way off, there's a large angle between this one and this one that's flying away. But the solution might be adding more frequency to it, giving it a higher frequency, thus making it move at a much smaller amplitude and giving a, getting a more precise beam like this than th this. This is bad. This is pretty bad. Um, and that's uh, that's it. Anybody have any questions?